Philippines, President Rodrigo Duterte has ordered police and soldiers not to cooperate with any investigation into the thousands of deaths in his so-called war on drugs. Police have killed at least 4,000 people since Mr. Duterte took power in June 2016. Human rights groups put the total at over 10,000. Meanwhile, the Philippines police said today that it had sacked 400 officers in that time, though none for their conduct in Mr. Duterte's bloody crackdown. Turkey, prosecutors have ordered the arrest of another 154 people, including trade unionists, teachers and naval officers, for their supposed links to a U.S.-based cleric. The total included 72 trade union officials, though it was not clear from which union, and 66 teachers. The Turkish government accuses Islamic preacher Fethullah Gulen of orchestrating a failed 2016 coup and has launched a vast purge against people it claims are connected to him, with over 60,000 people arrested. Peru, the government plans to declare an oil pipeline a strategic asset, so that it can be guarded by soldiers against what it said were vandals. Peru has come into conflict with communities in a remote Amazonian jungle region over the pipeline and pollution caused by it. Since the start of 2016, about 5,600 barrels of oil have spilled because of corrosion or other failures, and 11,110 have been lost due to vandalism that officials suspect is caused by local businesses who are then hired to patch up the pipeline. Germany, emissions test cheat Volkswagen, WV, said today that retrofitting polluting diesel cars was a good idea, but it would not pay for it. Germany's top court ruled this week that local councils could ban polluting diesels. The government is desperately trying to avert such bans to avoid hurting the car industry. VW lied for years about how polluting its cars were, rigging exhaust tests. Now it claims the diesel gate fines prevent it from paying to sort out its own toxic vehicles.